Hello and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. video. Today we are driving and seeing how good this car is, the PLP50. And what? Uh, but before we do anything with it, what? Uh, let me give you a little bit of background on it. It was made in 1962, I believe, around the Isle of Wight or the Isle of Man, one of those two islands, and. It was designed because it was on an island and at the time I believe they didn't have... There were a lot of people but they wanted something more compact, sort of smaller, like you see mountain cars but not this small. So I don't remember but the invent... I put his name up but the in inventor, no the founder of Peel designed this car, the Peel P50, the world's smallest production car ever. It's this sort of compact cars that they could use. They also did the Peel Trident, which is also in this game. So if you want me to drive it around and review it, put it in the comments and if you have any other ideas, put it in the comments. And as you can see, this car is really slow. So I believe, let's go and put on some upgrades. Okay, so now we're in the upgrade studio or upgrade shop it is and first i believe we should upgrade its engine so let's first hear the original engine sounds a bit like a leaf blower and like a olden day like grass clipper maybe not a leaf blower but well, it blinked a bit, but it sounds like the engine they use in leaf blowers and grass clippers. But let's go to the inline for motorbike engine. Don't know where this comes from, but let's listen. You can even see the car is bouncing. So if I... Yeah, you can see the suspension of the car just boing, boing. Which is quite fun. But I believe we're choosing this engine. Then powertrain. Four wheel drive? Burnt be four wheel drive, but let's call it three wheel drive. Because it only has three wheels, as you may see. And you can even put the turbo in this. Let's hear if we can hear any big differences. No, you can't hear any difference. But you can subtly, if you look at the car, no, if you, yeah, if you look, it subtly moves us a little bit backwards, apparently. Which I don't fully understand. But okay. yeah. Then we come into the customization, customization, which is going to so because we have this, we have the little sort of snowplow style front wing, and you can take away those things. I don't see it makes a big difference, but maybe let's put remove those. And here you can put on that wing. Let's not put that on and let's remove. It becomes a little like this. And once we're here in the rear, you can see that it has a holder for you to lift it, which also shows that it was quite light. Let us see if we can see. Yeah, it weighs 189 kilos. So. We can easily lift that. Then wheels. Well, for wheels, we are choosing semi slicks because I'm not so fond of using slicks in this game because you never know when it rains what's happening because we're in Mexico and in Mexico and other countries it can rain whenever, but in Formula One it never rains. But then we look at the gearbox we have 7, 8, 9, and 10 speed. And I only see a big difference with choosing 7-speed is the best. And of course we want the lightest drive train and the differential. We want the race differential. And wait, how much brakes? 10% efficient. How does the braking performance go? Not that much better, but at least a bit. Then we want to put on those, maybe not the roll cage. Then we want to shove in the huge turbo. Let's hear it. Mm 
doesn't make a huge difference, and then of course the empirical one will make a big difference. Now, when we have gone, we have gone from 141 kilos to 222. Power horsepower has gone from 4 to 292, and lateral Gs have gone up to 1.1 from 0 0.7. We are now a 700, B700 performance class, which could be quite interesting driving this car, but it has a bit more than one horsepower per kilo. And in this car, it sounds a bit like a death machine. But let's take it out for a drive and let's see if there is something special I can do with this car to make it a proper race car or drag or drift car. Let's see. Or rally car. Let us maybe go to the strip a little bit. I already sense the gears are a bit too short. The top speed when we put the gears longest. What does it simulate? 205, let's see, but 0 to 97.3.8. But the lacro G's. That's alright. Let's go out to the drag strip. Let's see. But when driving with the wheel. You can really feel it. You can feel it when it wants to go. But let's park up here. And let's go. It might actually be quite a quick drag car when you're looking like this. So, let me try and put a nice drag tune on it. Take it to the... Yeah, take it on a race, drag race here and see what we can do. Okay, so now I've tuned the car and I'm gonna put up the share code underneath. So if you want, you can download this drag tune. But let us first try it out to see if it's actually good to drag it. Well, it really pulls, but it has, but it has what's it called? It has a ton of wheel spin. So let us try and see how good it is. Okay, so let's see against other B700 plus car. Let's see how good it is. It's actually quite good. Let's see what the left time and what the time is. 20.153. I'm a I don't know what the fastest time around here is, but I believe it's a lot quicker. But let's see how it goes, because this was quite good against these cars on a 0.9 kilometer drag strip let's see how it is against them on a longer drag strip Okay, it's a, it's against the same opponents as last time, and we don't get the best start. And the field tried, and he didn't get a good start either. 
but he got a really bad start because he couldn't keep going. So let's see how it is. We are currently leading, but I believe because this car doesn't have, isn't the quickest, it might lose. But it isn't. It's not losing. How good is this? Oh my god. This guy's quite good actually in this class. So what we have learned today is the fuel P50 is really good. I'll put the share count down here again for the for the tune so you can use it. But if you have any other cars, suggest them, any other videos, suggest them ideas, reactions, anything, just put it down. And if you're still watching, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you know when my next upload is. But until then, I've been Racing Legend, you've been my amazing viewers. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!